Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. We are glad that we are here to share, to share a little bit about the word of God. And I want to read from the Bible in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have in God, that whatever we ask according to his will, he hears us. This is a verse that encourages me so much because you know this life is full of challenges. You see how things are going, even for everyone in this country. We feel that the economy is tough. At home, we feel that things are not easy. At school, children are struggling. You know, in a work, working environment, people are struggling. And there is a secret that is given to us in the Bible. And only those who pray, only those who read the Bible know this verse. And you know when you know this verse, it is going to encourage you in day-to-day -day activities. Because um, life is full of challenges, but God has told us we have confidence in him that whatever we ask according to his will, he hears us. It is his will that we do well. It is his will that we overcome the challenges. Yes, the challenges will come because we are in this life. But when they come, what do we do? We know that we have a God in heaven who answers our prayers. We can talk to him the way we talk to our parents. We can talk to him even better than the way we talk to our children. We know we can talk to him even better than how we speak to our friends because he is a God who sees in, uh, in, in secrecy and answers in, in the open. And so when you pray, Pray with confidence. When you are walking to that working place, go with confidence. When you are in that marketplace in your business, do your business with confidence because the Bible is telling us that we have confidence in him, that whatever we ask according to his will, he hears us. Let us not forget about his will. Sometimes we ask for something which is not good for us. And God, because he knows what is good for us, he gives us that which is good for us. Sometimes delay is not denial. It's going to delay you so that he can make sure that when he gives you that thing that you are asking for, that you are going to be ready. You are going to be ready and mature enough to receive it. And it is going to give glory back to him. Praise the living God. I want to welcome you to this uh, Bible reading session that the Bible is saying we have confidence in God. First John chapter 5 verse 14. For me, it has helped. It has helped me a lot in the singing ministry, in the working place, in the marketplace, because I know I have confidence in him. Sometimes you will be discouraged. Sometimes you'll be discouraged, things will happen, and you start wondering, is this the same God? I remember the Shunammite woman, the story of the Shunammite woman. She, she was good to a man of God, and she was blessed with a child because she has been good to a man of God. And then one time the child has died. She's wondering what is happening. But the good thing, she was a good person. She knew how to read the Bible. She knew what to do. She said the same Elijah who said you are going to have a child, I am going back to him. And he's the person who is going to solve this problem. And when she was meeting, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the assistant of Elisha on the way, you know, he's asking, what can we do for you? And she's saying it is well. When she's talking to the husband, the husband is asking, what is the matter? She's saying it is well. She had to go up to Elisha and she, she said, come with me. My son is dead. And when he came, he prayed over the boy. He lay, the Bible is telling me, uh, we, he laid on top of the boy, nose to nose, mouth to mouth, eyes to eyes, and the boy resurrected. When we have problems, we have God. We have confidence in him. We go back to him and we tell him, this is the job that you have given me. Do not stress over it. God, handle the situation. This is a marriage that you have given me. And this, is a, and this and this is happening. God, take over, intervene in this situation. Children are going through this. Tell God, intervene. Intervene for me. Because the Bible is telling us, 
us that we go before him with confidence and he hears us. Let us not struggle alone. Let us surrender everything to God and God is faithful. His plans are good. The Bible is telling us in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he has good plans for us, plans for welfare and not for evil, plans for future and hope. And so let us go to God. Let us surrender all to God and everything, even that that you think it's difficult, it's going to be well. It is going to be well. And all of us will be saying it is well like this Shunammite woman. Even when the child was already dead, she is saying it is well. Can you say it is well even when things are looking bad? Even when things are tough? Can we say it is well? Because we have confidence in God. Let us trust in God. Let us put our confidence in God and he's going to help us. Amen. God bless you. I love you so much. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, in Jesus' name, we come before you. We worship you. We magnify your name. We say there's no other God like you. Even at this time that we know we are facing different challenges of life, we want to say that you still remain our God. You reign in heaven. And you know, God, we love you so much. And so this moment, we invite you to intervene in our situations, in our challenges, those who are going through sicknesses. God, I pray for healing in Jesus' name, marriages, which are going through challenges. I pray for marriages in Jesus' mighty name. The church is being condemned today. People are saying the church is not standing at their place. God, I pray for the church. I pray that the church will remain strong in Jesus' mighty name. And the church will rise up and shine for this nation in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that, God, you are going to glorify yourself in every situation. God, glorify yourself in every situation. Good or bad, the Bible is telling us that we should praise you. And so, Lord, we praise you. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you adoration because there's no other God like you. Come through for our nation. Come through for us. For it is in Jesus' name I do pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen.